Okay, we have here to another integral. This one's from the MIT integration, be 2024, problem one. We have the integral from 2023 to 2025 of 2024 dx. Okay, a couple things. I didn't even realize they had posted 2024 problems, but they already have the qualifying exam out there. But another thing that jumped out after recently doing problems from 1991 is sometimes the problems from 2024 can be just as easy as the ones from 1991. But I will say the more recent MIT integration bees are more difficult. And even going through this qualifying exam, I noticed there's quite a few harder problems. Okay, so enough of that. Let's just get to the problem. Now, what we have here, 2024 is just a constant value. We could bring it out front of the integral, but it's not really necessary. But it's not really necessary to rewrite this because the integral of 2024 is just going to be 2024x. And we just need to evaluate it from 2023 to 2025. And then so plugging everything in, we're going to have, this is going to be 2024. Then for the upper bound, we have 2025. And for the lower bound, we have 2023. And I think here, this is the only place where you could mess it up. If you decided to distribute this in and you had to pull out your calculator and you wanted to calculate those two numbers and then subtract it. But what I'll do instead is we'll notice the difference between 2025 and 2023 is just two. So multiplying two times 2024 for my final solution, we just get four. 1048. Okay, so there you have it. Really simple problem from MIT 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.